the holiday weekend really messed with my schedule, but we're back to making videos. We're back to streaming on Twitch. This particular video is a combination of both because it's a Twitch highlight from the other night, me playing some Dota Underlords. Hopefully you enjoy the game. Thanks for watching, and I hope to catch you in the next video. I guess we'll start with this. It's weird, like... Like, these are okay units if you end up getting a... a BTC, but... I'll we'll grab this. I don't know. I, I like all of those kind of equally. I know I said earlier that I'm not a big fan of Scrappy, but... You got one person with a bounty hunter. It's been also pretty uncontested. There's no Scrappy Ace, though. But you could go like Scrappy Warlocks or Scrappy Mages and get your ace that way. I typically like Scrappy Warlocks just because if you do that, you already have one Warlock built in. So you can jam in like Shadow Fiend and some others and kind of get it done that way. Oh, there's a knight here. Maybe a knight here. They're kind of straddling. They might actually be trying to go with the build I normally have been going with, but just rocking Chaos Knight because it's the better unit. Yeah, there's the Inventor Ace as well. You can jam in. Like, Scrappy has ways it can go. It just hasn't really worked out for me because I feel like... I don't, I never find, uh, like, my Tinker 2 stars to get them up and running the way that I need. Like, I guess to me that's the weird part about the Scrappy build. Hey, we already have a 2 star, though, so we're doing something right. Someone wants to win, don't they? Let's do this and Good just grab choice. the Hunters for now. An early two-star. What am I even uh, doing this game? Does this mean I just auto-win? I got a two-star by round four. Mark it on your calendar. Though so this is game four. Again, at the start of the stream, I said for whatever reason, I feel like it takes me three games to warm up. I wish that was not the case. And I know that there is exactly uh, zero logic in that statement since a lot of the things are like shop RNG that you can't control. What, whatever it is, just, it's just the way it, it seems to go. Um, let's grab these. I think you go in just because you're the best unit for now. I mean, honestly, well, let's just buy everything. If we run into pairs or whatever, that's fine. I think if we two-star Razor, we can just jam that in instead. I think she ends up being our 
best include in the interim though. Ow. Don't punch my bounty hunter. I mean, that's honestly my biggest issue with Scrappy is that it's Clockwork, Tinker, Sniper, and you typically, if you're trying to go like Scrappy Mages, you want Crystal Maiden. So I think you do this. And then you do this so that you get interest, but you keep the pair. Buy the Pudge because that can maybe activate Heartless. In it we caught interest and a victory we got an early two star it's only one but we, we got it <sighs> I mean selling these plus pudge gets me another interest so I think that we just do that so we get two interest guaranteed. After combat starts, we'll just buy the shamans and the mages. Again, just because, why not? Pairs. We'll just buy the whole shop, actually. The drow can come along as well. Ready to hunt. Uh-oh. I think we're gonna take an L here. Two star tiny is too strong. It's gonna get another throw. They had that lichen, yeah. Ruined our win streak. But we got two interests out of it. So, silver lining, we'll get a, a re-roll. Ready for a better fun, Nova? All right, who else is on Knights? Because I know we're in Scrappy right now, but if nobody else is actually going Knights. We could maybe transition to it instead of Scrappy. Get those Eidolons off me. Right? Like, I know we don't have bat riders, so that kind of sets us back, but we can maybe start trying to pick them up if they show up. Could also grab this witch doctor, for example. I think for now you just jam in another two star. Hmm. To actually do that. Instead of the two star, we'll just uh, get three interest. Take advantage of that, and then once combat starts, we'll buy the witch doctor. Keep our options open, because we're just not seeing the scrappy stuff come up. Right? Like, we started with the bounty hunter. We've seen uh, no timber saws. None of the tier threes. But knights keep showing up. And there's not a lot of competition for him at the moment. I mean, it's basically, we got a two-star Batrider, Luna, and they got a lot of the Witch Doctors, but... I don't know. 
Maybe one other person. The hunter taking the sniper. Still no competition for Scrappy though either. It's like just not showing up. So now I have to make that decision here because if I sell, I could get four interest instead of three, but I don't I don't think that's correct. I think we'll hold tight here. Best not we'll leave me on the grab side these. Lines. I mean, we only have a 25% for tier three. I mean, if we really want to try to make Scrappy work, theoretically, we're supposed to, I think, go to six early. sell all of these and then if I win I get five interest but that's an awful lot I think we hold tight collect our four by the Viper and the CM and see what happens from there I'm still not convinced that I want to make this Knight's transition because we're definitely having a competition here right there's at least one other person on Knights where theoretically there's zero competition for Scrappy, but again, it doesn't matter if they're not showing up. Wow, we just got dumpstered by the first place person. But... Helm on Slark? Which Slark? You mean my bounty hunter? demon bonus because I wasn't paying attention but I think we're just gonna still stick with our scrappy game plan I mean, that was the other night person we're gonna take the loss there but that's because I was in the middle of bailing out we'll grab this as well means I get hosed hosed out of the five interest but that at least gets me up to four scrappy two inventor lets me uh, fix my demon issue throwing in another assassin before this because we're still a ways away from mages and we don't need CM in there until we at least have tinker and other things going on so in fact I think this is 
objectively better in the interim. Because then that still gives us three assassins. All right, so now we just need a two star and uh, find some of our other scrappies, right? Like, we're gonna probably take some L's here because of quality. Actually, we might get a win here, wow. But if, even if we're not finding Tinker, I mean, again, like I said earlier, I always have a problem with finding Tinker. I don't know what it is. Whenever I go scrappy, I feel like Tinker's MIA, but even if we can two star these, buy us some time. Well, we, we found a Slark since then, Zombie. We actually didn't own Slark the first time you suggested it. I only had a Bounty Hunter. Since, since you went AFK, we actually found Slark and two-starred him. Uh, we definitely want this Necrophos. Need to make this change because it's doggies, though. Because that goes into our Warlock late game plan. We might not go mages, we might just go warlocks with the addition of this. In fact, I think that that's actually the case. I think at this point we're going to focus on scrappy warlocks. Because that's a lot of healing sustain if we can pull it off. Especially once you get the ace. What's wrong with you? Nothing's wrong with you. Easy, easy thing to miss, mate. But at this point, I also think that getting ourselves leveled up makes it not. I, what is with trying to give me blade mail tonight? I'm so tired of blade mail. And yet, like you could argue arcane boots, but the problem is, is with our setup, like long term, we're not going to be grouped up enough to really take advantage of arcane boots. Like if we could do these and then maybe we'd have like a tinker, we could do it here instead of backline and then tinker would get one tick from it. But um, if I do this, as long as we win, we still get full interest. So it's a risk, but does also activate demon. And it also means our next shop round, win or lose, will be at level seven, so. It's gonna be close. I think they might have me because of the Eidolons. Oh, come on, really? Yep. Damn it. His uh, ability went to the Eidolon instead of Morphling there. So I get screwed out of an interest point. Oh well. Uh, I guarantee screw myself out of an interest point. Uh, here, I think that you end up just being better. We're going to be greedy and wait. This is super greedy. Yeah, I know we're going to win. I just need, I need to find two stars. Like, we finally found the one timber saw, but if I can two star some of these, we'll be in a much better spot. Oh, I might pull this off. Thank you, Tinker. Black Olive me dreams, yeah, memes and dreams. Like honestly, as good as Tinker is right now for us, finding Alchemist would go a long way as well, because that could keep us at four Scrappy, but allow us to go to two Warlock, which would be nice. But again, I think we just focus on leveling at this point. 
Um, cause bounty hunter, like we're not gonna, we're not gonna three star him, right? So tanking our tier one thing, not a big deal. Tier two only goes down by a little bit, but tier four goes way up and we, we open up, even though it's 1%, we open up ace at the next one. But even going up one more tier means that we can get the warlocks online. So I think trying to get to eight like reasonably fast makes the most sense here. Save me, Shadow Fiend. Like, like going up in flames, Lena Death is a really cool animation for the record. It's also a, the, like another question to ask ourselves is: Do I think that this assassin bonus is better than the warlock? And I think the answer, as of right now, is still yes. But theoretically, you could make that swap. Net worth is looking good for now. Getting there. Was the knight's person. Glad we bailed out of the knight's plan, apparently. Double blade mail. What is with blade mail in me tonight? Bears. Well, there's the alchemist that we were looking for. I don't think I chased three star timber saw. Well, actually, we can because we can also take this level here. That's fine. Um, all right, so you're just better than Tinker in the interim. And we do this for bears because we want them to hit this one. So once combat starts, we do this because we want our shop to be at eight when it pops out. Star Sniper is probably better than the one star Necro at this point. Actually, because we don't need Alchemist in for the scrap, you know that the Sniper's in though, we have to decide like, do I want Alchemist or Necro? That's also a legit question. Grab these though. Now oh, they're gonna ruin my win streak here. Are they on elusive? Wow, somebody's on elusive. Elusive druids, well done. Yeah, real talk, since I don't need it, since we're not hitting six, I actually think I prefer this. Okay. 
need three more Shadow Fiends. That'll be a pretty big boon. this I don't think chasing tier tier two three stars makes an awful lot of sense because we're trying to level our way out of that yeah the three star shadow fiend uh, dream is alive we're also trying to race our way to nine here so every time combat starts we're gonna take some levels here I don't think we race to 10, even though 6 Scrappy would be nice, but I do think racing to 9 is important just because that opens up the best, like, ace and tier uh, 4 unit play. Because we have a fair number of tier 4 units in our lineup or that want to be in our lineup in the immediate future, so bouncing them around makes sense. Interesting. We're going to wait till combat starts, but we're going to go on a buying spree here again. And Tinker will likely replace Sniper, at least temporarily, because Tinker, I think, is better overall for our build than Sniper. I think something like this is our best bet for now. I think we're much closer to Shadow Fiend in these, and as much as I love a three-star Slark, I'm not sure that uh, we're going to make it there. We'll hold on to it for now because we don't need it for interest, but there's a chance that this is going to get sold off here soon. How have the games been going for me? Not great. We're kind of uh, middling in mediocrity for the most of the night. We're gonna get. We're gonna go up to uh, 54 after this. So we're like two rounds away from nine. Person's already went to nine, but they're down to 14 gold to do it. But they understand that trying to find those aces is important, so it makes sense. I don't want to blow up my economy quite yet, though, because unlike our previous games, we have some health to spare for once, and we, again, have a lot of tier fours that we're trying to enable here. Um, if we don't two-star Necrophos, by the time we hit nine, then Necrophos gets replaced with Alchemist, and then Sniper goes in. That takes us up to six, but maintains Warlock. Uh, I actually like Bracers, I think, more here. I don't know, Scotty's pretty good, but I think I like Bracers more. Probably overvalue Bracers, but... I'll buy this after combat starts. And in the interim, give it here. We need two clockworks and two shadow games. Yeah, 
Yeah, we're gonna do this so that our shop, uh... Wow, we're gonna take so much damage here. And ruin our win streak. We're gonna do this because it goes to nine, and then if we need to, we can always uh, sell the slurk to make the rounds. And then, as I said before, we're also gonna wait and see what happens as far as uh, Necrophos goes here, but... Because if he two stars, he stays in. If not, he comes out. And he's coming out, so now the correct play is you make this swap, and a sniper comes in. Oh shit, I didn't sell this in time though. Busy fixing my positioning well. All right, we might take a loss here, but we're gonna be in a great spot going forward. Oh, we might not even lose here. It was looking pretty dire for a minute. But... All right, so that was an okay power spike. Might even not throw Necro now, because if we end up going to 10 here. I actually think, yeah. Selling Necro for rerolls makes sense because even if we get another Warlock to put in, we'd prefer it to be Disruptor. I don't think we break Assassin because of the Slark. I don't know, actually breaking Assassin makes sense. Let's hold tight for a minute. Let me think this through, right? Breaking Assassin makes some sense because if we get like a techies that probably wants to replace Bounty Hunter anyway. Yeah, I was kind of thinking the same thing, Gyro. I think four locks, if you get Disruptor, is also just better than the Assassins. And Sand King's also still just the one star, so I think we hold tight. Focus on... Uh just getting ourselves to 10 and then we'll figure it out from there. I mean, I think this is fine for now. This is one of the rare games where I think that uh, instead of re-rolling at 9, going to 10 makes sense. Because we really want that boost to ace units, I think. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna wait so that we get full interest here. Um, we're running into an NPC round, but we're gonna jump to 10 after the NPC round, one way or the other. Yeah, even more so now. So this is just long gone. Long gone. All right, we're going to leave the lineup as is. But then afterwards, uh, we're gonna sell Sand King and go to 10 to put uh, these two in. We also want to do this now because we've already locked in our interest, but we want the shop when it comes back up.
Dagoner Daedalus, Dagoner Daedalus. I actually think it's Daedalus here. So I think you want Daedalus on this. And this can go here. Because then you can pseudo frontline both of them. You get the Necro off. We'll wait and at least get this one interest, but then we're gonna try to hunt for a three-star clockwork. This is uh, gonna be a very resilient lineup now. Ooh. So, uh... I'll show you here in a second, but yeah, it's basically uh, like double the healing. So we're already on the six scrappy that gives everybody like all the things but disruptors ace is that the warlocks apply, uh, alliance now applies to two targets so right now whenever a warlock casts a spell the two lowest allies are healed for 80 percent of the damage dealt with the link um you only sell for three is the problem. And I don't think I sell you here, so we lock. Because we want techies to replace Bounty Hunter here for sure. Disruptor uh, took way too long to get that off. That Disruptor gets that off much sooner than we win that easy. So we'll have to fix that. How do we fix that? Change positioning a bit, right? Just frontline Disruptor. With something like this. Because it was Disruptor with Helm, right? Like, we're fine with him being on the front line. Like, you want techies dropping bombs on the front line. No, because if a disruptor is tier uh, two, then we switch it, right? Then, then uh, bracers go somewhere else. But with only nine hundred health, there's a chance disruptor dies before it ever goes off. So I think that keeping helm there makes sense. Whereas this has two thousand health, so the chances of him being able to pop this off and then do it again makes sense. You could maybe, I guess, consider it here. Yeah, it's probably better there just for Let's do something like this. Failure will not be tolerated. Well, they got one bomb down it and see if you got the second one. But... Disruptor finally got that off. I don't know if that's gonna be too little too late. I don't know, Sniper's doing work. All right. 